Hi, I'm Alex McRickard, and this is the fishing report for the month of September in Virginia. In this month's fishing report, we're actually at Amelia Lake in our Amelia Wildlife Management Area. Amelia Lake is a beautiful 100 acre department owned lake, and this lake actually has really good numbers of largemouth bass. Um, we also have good populations of bluegill and red ear sunfish, in addition to black crappie and, and even some yellow perch. This fishery actually has an overabundance of largemouth bass. Excessive competition for limited resources such as habitat and food has actually led to a stunted largemouth bass fishery. A lot of fish here are in the 10 to 13 inch range. There are some larger fish, uh, but, the, but the average size is, is, tends to be in that 10 to 13 inch range. Overcrowded fisheries like this can really benefit from actually uh, angler harvests. So if you actually uh, remove some of the fish that you do catch here and fry them up and have a good meal, it can actually help the overall size structure of the population, uh, kind of limiting that, that competition. Overcrowded fisheries like this can also be a really good place to introduce new people to the sport of fishing as catch rates tend to be high. Today we're actually here with uh, Hunter Hatcher, our, our regional fisheries biologist that manages this specific fishery. Um, Hunter, you can tell us a little more about the, uh, the, the specific characteristics of Amelia Lake. Sure. All right, so we're out here on Amelia Lake. It's one of our 100 acre department owned lakes here in Amelia County. Um, it's bordered on its northern edge by the Appomattox River, and it provides a great fishing opportunity and environment, uh, especially for new anglers and anglers looking for high catch rates of fish. As Alex mentioned, we actually have a bass crowded population here in this lake, and that means that upwards of 95% of the largemouth bass in this system are actually less than 13 inches. Now for trophy anglers, this might not be an ideal situation, but for folks looking to come out here and catch numbers of fish and also potentially introduce new anglers to the sport, it's a great opportunity to get out here and enjoy the resource. It's an older lake, so we actually have limited habitat in most of our shallow water areas. Um, and to combat that as a department, what we've done is we have a partnership with Amelia Waste Management and we deploy upwards of 50 to 100 Christmas trees a year out here to serve as supplemental fish habitat. In addition to that, we also use chainsaws to hinge trees around the margins of the lake to serve as additional fish habitat. So today we are doing some rod and reel angling out here on Amelia Lake, and we actually harvested some of the fish that we caught. Now our rationale behind harvesting these fish is in an effort to combat the negative impacts of bass crowding. When you actually harvest fish out of a system like Amelia Lake, you can free up the amount of resources available to the fish remaining and improve growth rates, size structure, and the potential for trophy fish within the system. So Hunter, as you mentioned, today the fishing was kind of a little bit tough, it was a little bit slow at times, but we were still able to try a variety of different techniques to, to, to make it a productive day out here on the water. Um, we picked up fish early on this morning, um, right after sunrise uh, with a top water approach, um, and then kind of uh, shifted to some subsurface tactics uh, as the sun kind of got a little bit higher. I was able to pick up uh, a fish on a uh, full sinking line with a Clouser minnow on the fly rod, but I know you were, you were picking up some fish with a, uh, with a drop shot system. Yeah, I threw a drop shot most of the morning, and you know, typically this time of year, as we've mentioned, the bite can be a little bit tougher. And a drop shot is a nice finesse approach to be able to catch fish, and in some cases suspended fish, which fish have a tendency to do this time of year. Um, so it's just a more subtle approach using a small plastic bait and presenting a bait to a fish in a way that they might not be accustomed to. You know, we're out here today, it's the day after Labor Day. These fish have been fished for all weekend. It's been a lot of pressure here recently. So we're just giving the fish a little bit something different to look at and uh, we're able to capitalize and get a few bites doing that. Yeah, I think too, today too is productive to kind of target some of that deeper water, especially as the sun got up. Um, you know, we, we targeted some of that subsurface structure. If there was a downwoody debris, log jams, some of those submerged Christmas trees that you guys put in throughout the lake. Um, all were holding fish today. And actually, Eric was even able to find a few fish on a, uh, a wacky rig worm. So once again, we're out here on Amelia Lake, which is a great place to come and catch good numbers of largemouth bass. Now be mindful that at the moment, the current regulation on the lake is no minimum size limit with a five fish daily bag limit. Now anytime you're fishing within the Commonwealth and plan to harvest fish, always be sure to be mindful of what the regulations in place on the system are. Absolutely, Hunter, and those regulations can change from year to year. Also, Amelia Lake is a great, great lake for paddle craft. You don't necessarily have to have a bass boat or a john boat to get out and enjoy this resource. A family canoe or a kayak actually can get you to everywhere you need to be on the lake. Um, so it's really accessible that way. Please comment below, let us know what questions you have and what you would like to see covered in a future fishing report. And also make sure to, to tune in and watch our, our new video on how to fillet a largemouth bass. Thanks again, we'll see you on the water.